going to say it was one of the biggest fights in UFC history. Does it feel that way to you? Yeah, man, it's going to fight to me, though, honestly. I'm excited. You know, it's Wednesday, I wish you were saying it already, honestly. Yeah, everybody's talking about what this would mean to Daniel Wins, you know, the legacy, the history. What about you? I mean, is there anything extra special on the line as far as you're concerned if you win, or is this just another title? I'm a champ. I like being called champ. I'm going to change that. You know, I, love, I love being a champ. I work my ass off being here. And I'm not going to give it up. I sacrifice way too much. My coach is a sacrifice way too much. I'm giving it up. You told us earlier he's about 245 pounds right now. Does that surprise you when he's that big? Yeah, whatever you want to have here. That's the only thing he wants to get. I don't care. I mean, the band, you know, he's a big guy. He's a tough guy. So whatever. Last thing you mean, the theory is he's being the smaller guy would be able to outwork you, would be able to go harder, longer, faster than you. Did you buy into that at all? Yeah. Sure. Whatever you want. Stipe, DC said up here that uh, your only path to victory is a knockout. What do you think about that? Is there any accuracy in that? Sure, yeah, knock people out, I won. Good. <laughs> Guess what? You get knocked out too. I'm gonna keep winning. So you, you didn't think you could win by decision, I guess, is what he's saying. I, I think, I think saying, the, like, then the last fight, what happened last fight? I'm oh, sorry, I went by decision. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. What's more nerve wracking for you, this upcoming fight or the fact you're, that your wife might go into labor while you're yeah, doing right it? Yeah, right there, right hands down. Like, I have no idea. I don't know if she's playing me right now or if she's good. Like, I think she's good right now. She's uh, hanging out with her mom, doing things. So, What's right the now. due date? Uh, August 1st. Okay, so you got time. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll see. The baby's three, we did, the baby's three weeks ahead of schedule. So. <laughs> What's it's, a big, it's a big turkey. What's that challenge been like for the team? <laughs> big kind of juggling those two sides. We did it all before it came started. Yeah, put the nurse together, did everything I had to do. Uh, I have great friends. Uh, Brother Help me out a lot. Go help me out a lot. Yeah. Get everything set up. We're good. So you won. It's great. You're going to watch the World Cup? Oh, yeah. On Saturday. Saturday. Of course, man. Why wouldn't I? You're going to change something in your day? Yeah. It's like. We're in bed. Why did they do last time? So we're going to win. We're going to send us. Win again. Win again. We're going to win. We're going to win. To follow up on Mark's comment about what DC said, when you visualize this fight and you're thinking about how you win, is the knockout the most common scenario, or do you see yourself possibly submitting it and going all five rounds? Like, what do you see most frequently? Uh, you know, I don't care. You know, you'll find out my hands right See, but did you bring in anyone specifically to train for Daniel just because of his wrestling? Oh, yeah, we brought some guys in, help me out definitely. Um, you know, uh, it's not going to be a wrestling match, it's a fight, you know, so it'd be a lot different. So I definitely work on wrestling, of course. I mean, uh, we're working on every camp, it's not just because of DC, I, every camp I wrestle. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I brought guys in, help me out, and uh, hopefully it works, which it will. One of your teammates, Jeff Hughes, is fighting on like, contender series in a few weeks. How happy are you to see him get the spotlight on? Uh, awesome, man. Jeff's such a good dude, such a hard worker, and I know it's about time he's getting some recognition. Well, LeBron James going to the Lakers, how does it feel to be the face of Cleveland now? <laughs> I mean, I'm just happy to see him something to be proud of. That's all I care about. Yeah, did you see that block billboard that someone put? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think of it? Whatever, man. We're about to say, we'll get to that point. Have you seen DC at all in the hotel? Actually, I'm not. No, I'm not. Yeah, I haven't seen him. But it would be, it would be cool. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm not going to. Yeah, I'm not going to. So, so, how are you doing? I'm taking over. See you Saturday. <laughs> Is this one any different going into it, just having that pre existing relationship with this guy? No, it's a fight, man. You're going to try to beat me up, I'm going to beat him up. So, how would you feel? I don't know. I mean, it sucks, right? <laughs> <laughs>